the spaces we are allowed to embody in each other because if you become too much of me or I too much of you, I'm afraid this won't end well, I am sorry. It's just, whenever I put too much into these things, I am always left with much more of them and much less of me, I am always left. Wondering how I could have gotten so attached, I never quite remember when I got stuck on them. Like a needle tugging on thread, I am always left. With the scalpel still in my hand, staring at my bleeding heart on the table, there are still stitches that once held two hearts together, and still unsealed holes from the times before. I wish I could love you without bounds, I wish I could, but without you constantly proving your love to me, I don't think I can. No one craves commitment like I do, no one creates expectations like I do, no one churns love into cement like I do. And just because I am young doesn't mean my soul isn't old, I am convinced that I have loved many times in my past lives. It comes naturally, easily. Yet heartbreak continues to haunt me, I don't get it. I am always left on the wrong side of the road. I am always left in a trance which I cannot escape without washing off their fingerprints from my body a thousand times. I cannot escape because they have crawled onto the battleground of me and wiped out my entire army. I never built a shelter strong enough that their tanks could not destroy. I cannot escape because of sensory memory. The faintest smell becomes a memorial. I go through the stages of grief over and over. Relationships that have passed away died off because of me. It's all because of me and the pieces of me. The attachment, stitches leaving holes that cannot be filled. The commitment, flexible availability, always available, waiting for them to give me their time. The forgiveness, too soft and moldable, shaped into a cross, I have forgiven them for their sins. It's all because of me. It's me and it's something I cannot escape without having to rebuild all I am. Now I must draw these lines. One right before you get to my heart and another before my heart gets to you. Uh.